Hey, good morning everyone. Wednesday morning, the 24th of March, 2021. This morning's devotional is a reading from Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7, which reads, The righteous man leads a blameless life. Blessed are his children after him. Raising children is full of challenges and can be physically and logistically demanding. But we also need to guide the developing characters of our children wisely and carefully. Children do not come with instruction manuals like those that we receive when a new appliance is purchased. Not that we ever read these manuals because they're all gibberish the best of times. So we stumble and fall as we try to figure out how this appliance works. The Bible is the best, surest source of guidance for our own lives. And it offers sound advice for equipping our children to embrace Jesus. We cannot force our children to obey God, much less obey us. Forcing them to do a thing only builds resentment. So how do we go about with this huge but honorable task? I often tell people that children are imitators and whether you like it or not, you are the subject of their imitation. Notice how a young boy imitates his father or a young girl, her mother. As parents, we need to know that what we we need to do what we say and not the opposite of what we say. The same is true when it comes to teaching our children to be disciples of Jesus. We must be doers of scripture and not just hearers. If you hope for your children to follow Jesus, they should be able to see you following Jesus. Ask for their forgiveness when you sin against them. Teach them that making a mistake doesn't result in condemnation, but it is an opportunity for restoration and growth. Make sure that the way you discipline yourself and them reflect the redemption we are offered in Christ. Let them see you studying the scriptures and praying for guidance. Let them see you being held accountable to others who also follow Jesus. Help your child develop a sense of self-worth that is centered in Christ. Build them up and do not tear them down with criticism. And then we wonder why they no longer speak to us or tell us about their life struggles. Knowing our worth to God helps us to resist the lies about our worth, what others Will tell us. When we are secure in our identity in Christ, shame cannot destroy us, and we have a proper outlook on the worth of others. My dear friends, a parent following Christ can raise children that follow Christ. May the examples of our daily lives point them to Him. A severe challenge for each and every one of us, whether we've got young children or senior children, it still remains a challenge. With those words, my prayer is, may the Lord be with you, may he bless you, may he cause his face to shine upon you, and be with you always. Goodbye.